Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to go over our seventh graders curriculum from last year. I know a few of you have been asking about a review, so I wanted to get on here and let you guys know what our thoughts were about her seventh grade year curriculum. <music> with Bible, we did the Abeka video led for seventh grade. My niece actually loves Abeka's Bible. All of my kids do and so do hers. So um, she really just felt like the teacher explains everything really well to where she understands. She really likes how they keep bringing up different stories just to kind of refresh her mind. Um, she's used the Abeka Bible curriculum ever since she was in kindergarten because the private school that she was at previously years ago, they actually used Abeka's Bible curriculum. So um, the, te the teachings are pretty much carried over throughout the years and you kind of like go through some of the stories and then a couple years later, you're gonna go through the same story. So it's really built a really, really solid foundation for her on understanding Bible. Um, don't mind if I look down, I wrote notes down because I literally interviewed her for, <laughs> for this video. Um, so she really thought that the teacher did well on explaining in detail what the stories were about, breaking it down to where they can understand it. Um, she also really enjoys worshiping, so the music that they sang, she really enjoyed it. I bought her the little, um, I think I, I think it's called the Song of Hymns. I'm not sure, but it's a little book that you can buy through them because it doesn't come with the actual video-led curriculum. You have to buy it on the side. So I did buy that for her so she could sing along with them as they sing. So basically she has no dislikes for Bible. She really enjoys it. She loves it. This coming up year, we're doing things a little bit different. We still will be using Abeka, but make sure you guys check out our curriculum picks. It'll come up probably after this bit video. So if you aren't subscribed already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell. That way you're alerted whenever those new videos do come up. And I will be doing flip throughs of most of her curriculum. Okay, so next on my list, I wrote down history. So I worked on history with her and we used the knot grass from Adam to us. So we really love the knot grass curriculum. This past year was the first year that we had ever used it. Um, she used from Adam to us and that's the middle grade curriculum. And I also used it with my daughter and my niece. And truly, you guys, it's such a great curriculum. She really enjoyed it. Um, she said that the book didn't seem really like, like a textbook. I felt the same way. It doesn't really feel like a textbook. It's more like storytelling. It's like someone's actually telling you about these places. They had beautiful pictures in there, just beautiful, beautiful photographs from all over the world. Um, it explained things pretty well. It was a lightweight curriculum, so it wasn't too intense. Now with knot grass, the way that they do it, they incorporate Bible, they incorporate literature, vocabulary, geography. Um, I may be missing something, but basically we just used it for history and geography because we already have a literature based curriculum that we use. So, and Bible. So we just basically used it for that, but it's Christian based. So you have, you know, biblical things in it, which is wonderful because you're learning it at the same time and how things kind of go together. Um, and it was, she just really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed teaching it to her at the end of each lesson. There wasn't like a crazy amount of things to do. She had like a timeline to fill out, which was really just copy work from the book. She had mapping to do, which was good because she learned about the different areas we were discussing for that lesson. And then she had, um, lesson review. So it's about five questions that she just has to answer for that lesson and then at the end of each unit she had a like a unit test for the five lessons that she had learned for that week and um, it just went really really well we really enjoyed it both of us did okay so they do have activities and family activities that you can do in the back of the book that goes along with each unit and we enjoyed them but we did not do all of them we just chose certain ones throughout 
the family activities to do. So we didn't do it every single week, but we did do some of the activities and the ones that we chose were really fun. Um, dislike, oh, okay, so there was one dislike and this is just her, like all kids are different. So it comes with this creative, um, what is it called? Creative world, I believe, I'm not sure. But it's an extra book that has like letters or stories um, about what we had read. So it's extra reading and it's probably part of their like literature side of it, but I still had her read it because I thought that it went really well with the story that we were reading or about the different places. And she did not like it. She liked some of the stories. She really enjoyed some of the stories. They were good. But sometimes she just disliked it because, because some of the lessons from Adam to us are pretty lengthy, I would say. Not all of them. Like They kind of go back and forth. So you'll have a short one and then you'll have a long one. And usually with the shorter ones, they have the creative world book that you have to read. So it just was a lot of reading for her. So she says she dislikes it because it was more reading to do. And this is coming from a girl that loves to read. She loves reading. She reads books all the time. But for some reason, I mean, I guess it's because it wasn't what she chose to read and some of it she felt was boring or she didn't really care too much about those. So, so yeah, I wanted to put it in there just because like if you guys get it and your kid's not enjoying it, you're not alone, okay? So that is for history. Now for math, she used teaching textbooks and she loved teaching textbooks. All of our kids, well, the two kids that are using it, love it. And um, I did a really lengthy video on that. And I did talk to her and my daughter. So if you check out the video, it is in, I'll put it in my description box for you guys if I remember. If not, it's on my channel. Um, I just uploaded it in July. So um, you should be able to find it there. And, um, she she really likes it. So basically what I talk about in teaching textbooks is pretty much everything that both of the girls liked. So um, the next thing is English and we did that through Abeka. We went with the English 7 and she does really, really well in English. Um, it kind of comes naturally a little bit to her, I feel. Okay, so with Juliana, my niece, in order for her to enjoy what she's learning, she has to connect with the teacher. And for some reason, she just didn't have that connection with the teacher for English. Now, for me, she was saying that he talks like a lot in depth and he talks about stories and he kind of goes like off into like rabbit holes, I guess. And she's very like, let's just do what we need to do. Let's just read. Let's just get it done. You know what I mean? So I feel like she maybe didn't connect with him for that reason. I'm not quite sure because I didn't watch the video with her um, because she is video led. So. That's just what she said, but every kid is different. Connections are different. Some, I love when people, I mean, I'm a person that goes off into who knows where and starts talking about different things. So, so I'm a person that likes that, but she's very straight to the point. Let's just get it done. So that was one thing that she wishes was different was just that he just kind of stuck on teaching what he needed to teach, I guess. I don't know. Um, but she liked the curriculum. English is not really her favorite subject. It's not something that she enjoys, but she does it well. So uh, let's see here. So I already told you guys that. Okay, so now stepping off into grammar. Okay, it's still through the English 7. So the grammar portion of it, she said the book was really, really easy to follow. And it was really easy to understand. The explanations in the book were really easy. So once she started using the book, she was able to find her answers. She was able to find where all of the, you know, helping hints or the handbook I think is in the grammar. Um, it's in the back. She was able to find, you know, helpful tips within her book. And one thing she did say is with the video led with the teacher, it kind of moves quickly. So say they were talking about pronouns and they were talking about it for the, I don't know, the first part of the lesson. Um, or for that whole lesson, they wouldn't work on it for a few days and then it would come back. And so I had to explain to her that Abeka has a spiral learning approach and that's just how they teach. But she just wishes that if she was taught one thing, kind of like a mastery approach to learning. So she wishes that if they worked on it or if they were taught something specific that they would work on it longer. Um, 
but she's doing really well so that's why we stuck with a becca because even though she has that complaint she's still doing really well with it and you know sometimes our kids aren't going to always enjoy everything that they're learning but if they're doing well i wouldn't change it that's just us so that's just something that you know she says she wishes was a little different with that Okay, so for literature, it's basically a book full of different stories, poems, letters, play type things. Um, she said that she really enjoyed it. Most of the stories were good. She was into reading the story. Some of them she said weren't that great or she was kind of bored, but she still did really well and she finished it. So she doesn't really have any complaints about that. Um, spelling no complaints about spelling she really likes it some people hate their spelling and some people love their spelling so they're given i don't know i'm just throwing a number out here you guys so it's not specific but let's say they have like 20 spelling words and then they have 10 vocabulary words that they have to learn the spelling and the the definition but she did really well with spelling like i said she's really good in english and um she likes it so she has no complaints there with spelling so for the last one it's science and this year we did apologia's general science yes general science general is it general science <laughs> i think it's general science you guys i've been looking at so much curriculum for this upcoming year that i'm forgetting things um so she really loves science that's one of her favorite subjects she really liked Apologia. She liked how it was laid out. She liked that she was able to use the notebooking journal alongside of her textbook. She really enjoyed that. So in, in the notebooking journal at the beginning of each lesson, it had like a, a section where it blocked off exactly what she had to do for that day. They had like little check boxes to make sure they finished them. She really liked that. She likes having things kind of planned out. So having something to visually see instead of us just telling her what to do, she liked that. Um, she liked that she was able to use that to write all her notes down. It was in one place so that she can study for her test because that's how Apologia works is they're really, really high on um, um, note taking for tests and things. So she did really well with that. She really enjoyed it. The experiments were really fun when they worked. So <laughs> sometimes they did not work, you guys. And I would say that about ours too, because we used Apologia for the younger girls and it was like a hit or miss. Sometimes we did it right, sometimes we didn't. I don't know if it was probably us doing it wrong. Um, but so it was a hit or miss. So whenever it did work, it was really fun. One thing I will say for us, we purchased the science kits that goes along with the Apologia. You can get them from like Rainbow Resources and they have the kits that are already planned out for you. So they have like specific bags for the lessons. They tell you what you need, what's already in the bag. Super, super helpful you guys, because I will say without that, we would have probably missed a lot of the experiments. I mean, it's been like that in the past for us. So that really was helpful for us as the parents having everything just together. It was something that we didn't have to worry about taking care of. And I will say that that is worth the money for sure, because I am trying to get things together for our upcoming year for our younger kids science. And it is, it's, hard to get everything you know so so anyways that was a major plus so i would suggest to you if you have the extra hundred dollars to spend because you'd spend it anyways on all of the supplies plus all the time that it takes to do it if you can do it i would try to do it that's something definitely that i would try to fit into your budget all right, you guys, so that is it. That's our review on our seventh grade curriculum picks for 2020, 2021. I hope that this helps you guys out, but that's it. So thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. I always enjoy you guys coming to my channel and finding content that works for you guys or that's helpful to you guys. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below or a like, it helps my channel so much. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified anytime I have new uploads. I do everything homeschool on this channel from hauls, day in the lives, plan preps, creates with me. Um, I do planning in our planners for organizing the week. I do organization. We do all kinds of things here, flip throughs, curriculum. So hopefully this is a channel that you can relate to and you can become a part of our homeschooling family here on YouTube. So that's it, you guys. Be safe, be blessed, and I will see you next time. Bye. What if the world had
had more of your smile What if the wind could spread your love What if your sweetness could reach everyone There'd be no wars 